Hey guys, for this section we're going to be installing Rails, Ruby, Git, SQL Lite, and some other components that Rails needs to be able to run on Windows. Um, before this was available, installing all these things separately was uh, quite a task. Um, but this this kit has really made that process a lot easier. So all you have to do is go to railsinstaller.org and click the download button and it'll download this program called Rails Installer uh, in whatever version .exe. So you just want to, I already downloaded it, but you just want to download that and you want to run it. So I'm going to go, I am going to run it now. And it's very easy, just like installing any any Windows program. Just go through the accept the license, and you want to choose where you want it installed. Um, I'm going to leave mine on my C drive, which is the default location. And depending on your machine, this waiting time could vary. I have a pretty fast machine, so uh, and it still takes two or three minutes, if that. <clears throat> a lot of the information you find on the internet um, for the most part, most developers will use Linux, uh, some version of Linux. But using Rails with Windows is becoming more popular, um, basically because of programs like this, which make it easy for us to use. So when it's done, you just want to keep this checked, configure git and ssh when installation is completed. Just click finish, and you should get this command line that pops up. And it gives you the version, um, where it's where it was installed and it gives you these SSH keys which we will be using later um, but now you have Rails and all the, the other components of it installed on your Windows machine and you if you just did this you might have received a message to put in your email your name and your email address uh, mine was already in there I think it's because I've already installed it on my system in the past so if you get those prompts, just, just add your name and email address to them. And you can easily see what if it's installed and see what version it is by just typing Rails and then you want the, the dash and then the V, hyphen V. And you can see we have Rails 3.21 installed. And if you want to see which version of Ruby, which is the programming language that Rails runs on, do Ruby V. And we have the latest version, which is 1.9.3. Okay, and you can see it puts us into the sites folder or directory uh, right after installation. And we can check that by just going to my computer and the C drive. And you'll see we have this sites folder. So this is where we're going to put our application. This to-do application is just a sample. Um, and this actually shows you the structure of a Rails application. Um, which can go through real quick. We have the app folder and this is where all of our basically everything we're going to be doing is. This is where the MVC structure is, the model view controller. Um, you have all your controllers, this RB extension, that's just the Ruby file extension. Um, and you have your helpers which are just small functions that just help, <laughs> hence the name. And then models which all our database interaction and then views which is the display and then what we also might use is this public folder which has will ha have all our site images for our templates um, style sheets and also that's actually that's probably it we'll have our robots for file here if we want to um, you know disable our site for the search engines or whatever so uh, and I'm going to go over this more in the the real structure section so um, that's it we have it installed and we are ready to create our first app